let me invite His Excellency Abdullah Hamdok, Prime Minister of Sudan, to the stage. Good evening, Excellency Sahli Werk Zaudi, President of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, Excellency Dr. Rabi Ahmed, the Prime Minister, Excellencies Head of State and Government, Excellencies Representative of States and Governments, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, allow me at the outset to express my gratitude on behalf of all the people of Sudan, my sincere thanks to the government and the people of Ethiopia for the kind invitation. Indeed, it gives me great pleasure to join Your Excellencies at this auspicious occasion, the renovation and inauguration of the Grand Palace, the historic epic center of the political power in the modern history of sisterly Ethiopia. As a matter of fact, turning such historical site into tourist attraction offer not only the chance to diversify economic resources, it is also a vindication that economic progress and the preservation of cultural and national heritage can still go hand in hand. Tourism sector in today's world represent the soft power that support our economies and provide yet more jobs opportunities for our younger generations. I'm very delighted to be back to Ethiopia where I served the longest part of my entire career. Your remarkable experience in economic transformation, Your Excellency, is a source of pride and admiration across the African continent. In the past, we used to look to the Far East, the Tigers, and so many experiences from outside the continent. But I guess Ethiopia is showing us the way. So, Prime Minister, you should be very proud of that. I have been observing with appreciation the results of the wide economic and social reforms undertaken by your government. Topping deservedly the list of the country's fastest growing economies in Africa and beyond. In this regard, the successful conclusion of the Joint Sudanese-Ethiopian Business Council in Addis Ababa last week has laid a solid foundation for robust economic and commercial partnerships between our two nations, particularly in the private sector. Integrating our joint colossal capacities shall create a big room for the expansion and fast-tracking of our mutual business and investment opportunities. It is high time that our strong bilateral relations in areas of political diplomacy should be extended towards trade and investment. Excellencies, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me bring you news from home. I'm very delighted to stand in front of you tonight representing the new Sudan the dawn of a, a new country. Compared in similarity, you are bragging about this, of course, to the French Revolution in its aspirations and impact, the Sudanese December Revolution has been widely lauded as a source of inspiration to the entire world. 
I think we are very proud to claim that some of the recent movements across the globe might have taken some leaflets from our revolution. We're happy to brag about that. It was indeed a victory for the will and the wisdom of the Sudanese people in overcoming the political challenges and the formation of the transitional arrangements and structures that sincerely expresses the revolution goals. It has been a revolution that is peaceful, led by young people and women. And it was not by chance that it gave Sudan its first female foreign minister, who is here. The peaceful transition towards democracy and civilian rule, ladies and gentlemen, wouldn't have been easy without the constructive role and the crucial mediation played by Ethiopia and the AU. In fact, Ethiopia, the host of the AU's headquarters, had been playing leading roles in peacekeeping operations in the region and acting as a stabilizing force in our region. Mr. Prime Minister, I think you have seen it yourself at the signing ceremony of our agreement that probably you know so well now you are very popular in Sudan. If this regional integration projects as President Museveni has been preaching over the years will take us a step further to have regional governments you might consider running for this greater home. The recent role played by Ethiopia in bringing together different political actors in Sudan to a common platform was pivotal and successful because it seems and stems, I think, from sincere and honest appreciation of each other. The people of Sudan and Ethiopia, perhaps due to the geographical proximity and centuries of socio-historical ties were known throughout history by their respective spontaneous intervention to help each other in difficult times. To conclude, Your Excellency, Sudan remains poised to work together with Ethiopia and all other countries in the region and beyond in moving our region to the stage of beyond the stage of discord, disputes, and conflicts towards the supreme goals of peace, prosperity, development, and regional integration. I thank you for your kind attention.